Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my channel Wins Academy for Competitive Exams. If you study to remember, you will forget. But if you study to understand, you will remember. So understanding the concepts is very very essential in clearing the competitive exams. Now let us start our session on divergence, curve and gradient. The learning objectives are vector differential operator gradient, divergence, curl, solenoidal and irrotational vectors. So first we are going to see vector differential operator. So this is also called this del operator. This mathematical operator determines how much vectors change in each of the three spatial dimensions. Here the three dimensions we have chosen is x, y and z. It is a Cartesian coordinate system. So x, y, z are the coordinate axis. So in order to find out that the partial derivative is used in each dimensions that is del is equal to dou by dou x ax vector plus dou by dou y ay vector plus dou by dou z az vector. Here ax vector, ay vector and az vectors are the unique vectors. Next, we are going to see the operations with vector differential operator that is del. So, three important operations are carried out. One is gradient, second one is divergence and the third one is curl. First, we are going to see gradient of a scalar. It is denoted as del v. Gradient of a scalar is always a vector. So, vector means it has both magnitude and direction. So, this magnitude gives the maximum rate of change in V per unit distance and the direction points in the direction of maximum rate of change in V. So, gradient is denoted as del V that is equal to dou V by dou X AX vector plus dou V by dou Y AY vector plus dou V by dou AZ AZ vector. The meaning is dou V by dou X means in x direction, how much v varies? It is given by dou v by dou x. Then dou v by dou y means in y direction, how much v varies? Similarly, dou v by dou z means in z direction, how much v varies? Ax, Ay and Az are the unique vectors. So the next one is divergence of a vector. Always remember divergence means dot product. D for dot. Like that you can keep it in mind. So divergence means del dot a vector. So here we are going to take divergence of a vector. Consider a as a vector field and here we have to interpret that vector field as flow of fluid or gas. Then it will be easier for us to understand the concept of divergence. So there are three divergence. One is positive divergence. The second one is negative divergence and the third one is zero divergence. So first we are going to see what is meant by zero divergence. Zero divergence means divergence is equal to zero. So for this we can consider an example. Consider water flowing through a pipe. So in this pipe there is flow in as well as flow out. Flow in is equal to flow out. That is water is getting inside the pipe. At the same time the water is leaving out of the pipe. So here flow in is equal to flow out. So if flow in is equal to flow out, then the divergence of the velocity vector at any point in the field will be equal to zero. Divergence means just changes. So here there will be no change in the velocity. So its velocity will be a constant. So here the divergence value is equal to zero. So next we are going to see what is meant by positive divergence. So for this consider a box filled with gas. If one side it gets opened what happens the gas spreads out now the gas velocity is not same at all the points so here the divergence is not zero this is called as positive divergence so the next one is negative divergence so here negative divergence means for example consider an iron bar it is surrounded by small small magnets so what happens the small magnets gets attracted towards this iron bar. So here also there is divergence. But this divergence is negative. 
So now finally we have to see the equation for divergence of a vector. So consider a vector A. A vector is equal to AX, AX vector plus AY, AY vector plus AZ, AZ vector. So divergence means dot products. So del dot A vector is equal to do AX by do X plus do AY by do Y plus do AZ by do AZ. So this is the equation for divergence of a vector. From the answer itself, we can see it is a scalar because there is no unit vectors to indicate the directions. So, divergence of a vector will also always be a scalar value. So, next we are going to see curl of a vector. Curl. So, now we are going to see the equations for curl. Curl is equal to del cross A vector. So, that is equal to modulus of ax vector, ay vector, az vector, then dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou az, then the magnitude in x direction, y direction and z direction, that is capital AX, capital AY and capital AZ. Then we have to expand this determinant, it gives the value for curve. So next we are going to see what is the solenoidal vector, that is the condition for the vector to be solenoidal. The condition is if divergence of a vector is equal to 0, then it is called as solenoidal vector. Here the figure as uh, solenoid is shown. So it has number of rotations. So for solenoidal vectors, we will have the curl value, but divergence value will be equal to 0. So next we are going to see what is irrotational vectors. So irrotational, from the name itself we can understand. Irrotation means there is no rotation. So, if there is no rotation means then definitely curl value will be equal to 0. So, curl means del cross A vector is equal to 0. If the domain is simply connected, the vector field will be conservative or equal to the gradient of the function. Now, let us summarize. So far, we have seen del operator, that is vector differential operator, gradient, then divergence, Three types of divergence, positive divergence, negative divergence, zero divergence, then curl, what is a solenoidal vector and what is a irrotational vector. So we come to the end of the session. If you understood the concepts, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. In the next video, we will see the problems related to vector analysis. Let us understand and groove.